This is the time when dreams come true. Humanity has been searching for a way to create sustainable and cheap ways to commute for hundreds of years. Electric vehicles have been the technology that came closer to this goal than any other invention. But still, they use electricity that is often produced in heat or nuclear electric stations, so sustainability is not guaranteed. Lightyear Company offers the solution. This is the new Lightyear Zero electric vehicle that is packed with a lot of solar panels and cells. This means that this vehicle can charge whenever it is exposed to sunlight. The idea is simple. But why other companies haven't come up with this solution? Mounting a solar panel to the roof of the electric vehicle seems like a great step. Actually, things are much more difficult. First of all, you should consider that not all batteries will live long if they are charged from solar panels with unstable power. Also, charging while driving was impossible for almost all previous EV batteries. Now, technologies go further and offer some solutions. As a result, we have the Lightyear Zero. So, let's see what exactly this model offers. This is quite an unusual electric vehicle with a very special design. Something classic is mixed with something super modern. And this blend doesn't look bad to us. The roof of the vehicle is designed to provide as big surface for solar cells as possible. Whenever the roof absorbs daylight, the vehicle's battery charges. Even when you drive. Of course, you can still charge the Lightyear Zero using the home socket. But the key advantage of the vehicle is 5 square meters of solar arrays on the roof and hood. The company claims to have checked the vehicle in Europe. During summer days, they managed to get 1,000 kilometer range between charges, this is about 620 miles. They traveled about 30 miles a day and the experiment took more than 20 days. No, they didn't use exclusively solar energy. They charged the battery and then started driving their EV. Until the battery was flat, they managed to drive over 600 miles, which is impressive, given the vehicle has a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, with a range of about 625 kilometers, or 390 miles. So, the solar range for 20 days was about 400 kilometers or 250 miles or about 12 miles a day. Just think about it, this car traveled 12 miles every day using only solar power. Actually, this makes the real revolution. If you drive your car only from home to work and back, and your office is 6 miles away from your home, hypothetically, you may use only solar energy to commute. You won't need to charge the battery from any socket or charging station at all. Of course, there are still some limitations like winter days, snow, and ice on the roof, etc. But still, the achievements of these guys are very impressive. In the official specs of this vehicle, you will see that the company claims up to 40 miles of additional daily solar range. Maybe if you are driving in Sahara where solar energy is available in massive amounts. The Lightyear Zero can speed up to 100 miles per hour. It takes about 10 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour. The vehicle is powered by four independent electric motors. It's not really powerful or fast, but the Lightyear Zero is not about speed records and breathtaking acceleration, it's about sustainability and wise energy use. Actually, the vehicle is filled with different clever solutions. For example, you can order an additional wheel cover for the back wheels, that will improve airflow. Such aero cover will add another 8 miles of range per charge. Also, the body is made of fiber. This is reclaimed carbon fiber which also makes this vehicle sustainable because the material is cheap, recyclable, and available in huge amounts. All interior materials are naturally sourced. No natural leather or any other animal products are used in this vehicle. Now, where can you buy this car? Unfortunately, now this vehicle is not available in all countries. And it's not available in the US. 
If you live in the UK, Switzerland, Norway, and actually in all countries of the European Union, you can order the car online, and you will have to wait quite long until you get one. The price is €250,000. But every country has additional taxes, so the average price in Europe will be about €300,000 which is not that cheap. For this money, you get a luxurious EV that can potentially drive a lot of miles without using a single kilowatt of grid energy. And this is a tempting thing for many people. Still, we believe it's a little expensive for this car. If you want to get updated on our new videos, please subscribe and stay tuned.